<laughs> so just shake it up nice and good. And it's gonna be dark, dark green. Hi, what's up everyone? It's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. And today I'm gonna show you something really cool because I know you guys are wondering how do I take my Moringa? How do I take it? So if you go get some powder or you crush up powder and you make it on your own, here's the thing about your own powder is that when the commercial processes, processing plants make Moringa, they're using a hammer mill which takes the Moringa particle down to a fine particle size to where it does dissolve into water a little bit better. Um, when we're taking ours that you grind up in your grinder or your coffee grinder, it'll mix up into water a little bit but it won't be super mixed. So you just gotta kinda put, put it down, <laughs> you know, take it down. But I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it right now. Like I said, this works better with the commercial powder. So this stuff is very fine ground stuff. And I'll show you a close up here in a second. Um, I find that using these little small mason jars makes it super easy because uh, you actually can add your stuff. This is just water I put in here uh, from my RO. But basically, you could just put just powder in there and, uh, and you could just shake it and, it and it mixes up really, really nicely like this. Instead of trying to use like a spoon and mix it in there. I mean, that, that works too. And I was doing that for a long time until I uh, found these little mini mason jars and they work really, really well. Um, so this is pure moringa powder. The only ing other ingredient I would recommend you having is some honey because um, just powdered moringa is super uh, intense. The reason it's intense is because it's very concentrated. For one tablespoon of moringa, you actually have a whole cup of fresh leaves. So you really, I think actually one teaspoon. Uh, someone Google that and tell me which one it is. Anyways, um, so the cool thing about uh, Using the honey is, it's sweet. You don't need much of it actually, but it mixes really nice when you do the, the, the shaker jars. So that's really good. And so if you don't have honey and you just do moringa and water, I would recommend taking one half of a banana and eating it first. So eat a little bit before you take the moringa. Then uh, shoot your moringa and have a chaser. So um, a chaser like a banana or a mango slice. These are great chasers. You can also, instead of using water, you can mix, uh, you can use orange juice or mango juice or something delicious. Then when you mix in your moringa and shake it in that, you are kind of getting your chaser within it too. So that's the reason I'm adding the honey. So there's a lot of different ways to use the water side to make it palatable for whatever you like because it's definitely intense. Now I'm wearing my green hat today in honor of moringa. Um, and I usually like getting non-branded hats, but I went out with my friends, this has been quite a few years ago, uh, Sean Johnson and uh, another friend of Sean. So we went out and uh, I, I had just started taking harmonica lessons and uh, <laughs> they, gra they grabbed my hat. They were joking about saying like, uh, we're gonna write I heart my harp on your hat. And I was like, no, that's cool, it's, it's blank. You know, so, so then they took it and they did a little design I heart my harp. <laughs> they put, even put like the little dots on the sides there. Kind of. Uh, anyways, it's kind of funny. So, um, so yeah. I mean, I do heart my harp, and uh, harp is a slang term for harmonica. So, um, I really wanted something to do one year, and I decided to take uh, harmonica lessons from a really, really good teacher in Peoria. If you guys ever want to take harmonica lessons, he's amazing. His name's Larry Regan. Uh, dude, awesome. I really, really appreciated the lessons. But he taught me a classical beginning of everything. So he taught me single notes and how to bend and how to play the scales and those kind of things. Um, I got a few blues stuff down, but I never really got uh, how to play with a band all the way or uh, all the math behind it. But I do have the basics. Uh, he taught me the basics really well. And I really like the harmonica because you could stick it in your pocket and then you could just go uh, hiking or when I used to do time lapse at night uh, of the stars in the, in the forest you know most people don't want to go with you because you got to be quiet the whole time well you can't really move around the whole time and you can't move into some of your lights some of your shadows you just want to get it set up your shot and and it's like you're there for a few hours four or five six hours just doing one shot um, that's only gonna last 15 or 20 seconds 
on the final shot. So um, for some reason, I love doing that kind of stuff, but um, I needed kind of something to keep me company and keep me busy because a lot of times I have to go up on a specific night because the moon's gonna do something or the stars are gonna do something, or the Milky Way's gonna do something, but that's the thing, it, or if it's just a perfectly cloudy night or a perfectly beautiful night for some reason, you just gotta go. And a lot of times you can't really give people heads up. So my friends would love to go with me sometimes, I think, but uh, it, it, it's, just a, it's just a relaxing night. But I can take my harmonica, I'm carrying a whole bunch of gear with me to get these time-lapse shots. I, don't, I can't really carry like a whole guitar too, plus I don't know how to play the guitar. But I could learn if I took some lessons from someone like Larry Regan for guitar. But anyways, so um, I could put my harmonica in my pocket, get up there, set up my shots, do all my setup. And once I get it rolling and the pictures start taking, uh, I could pop out my harmonica and keep myself company. I could do improv stuff, but I'm not going to do that for you right now. What I am going to do before I uh, play you a little song that I know is I'm going to take a Moringa shot um, and I'm going to show you the process. So here's what I do. Now, why do I want to take a Moringa shot? That's, that's a big question. Moringa uh, is a tree native of India and what happened is it started getting uh, propagated all over that region and then it finally came to the States and it's, now it's all over the world. Now, Moringa grows best in uh, drier climates. Um, it's a subtropical tree, so it'll do really well in wet climates also, but it doesn't do well in climates where it freezes. So um, that's the thing about Moringa. It's kind of a subtropical tree. It doesn't really like any freezes. Um, if the root freezes, it'll die. Other than that, it's hard to kill this tree. So, but there's 46 antioxidants just in the leaves alone. There's 39 anti-inflammatories in the leaves alone, and there is 18 amino acids, and eight of those amino acids are the essential amino acids that our bodies don't produce. So when you think about what you're doing when you take a Moringa shot that's concentrated, is you are loading your body with all of these uh, elements that are essential nutrients for your body that we don't actually get to these levels every day. So when we're out eating our normal diet, we don't actually get all of the nutrients that we need usually from the food that we're eating, especially if once in a while we hit up McDonald's or once in a while we hit up a fast food place or a burrito joint or whatever it is. Um, we're really not, con we're consuming a lot of calories, but we're not consuming a lot of nutrients. So this is the best way to start your day. Just saying. So what I do in the morning now, my brother got me really, really hooked on this because Moringa has healed people of many, many diseases. Now Moringa doesn't, heal anything. Moringa basically floods your body with nutrients so your um, immune system is just kicking, popping. It's like boom, boom, boom. We're the ones fighting the diseases. Our bodies are. Moringa is just the gasoline that gives us the power inside of our bodies to be able to fight these ailments, these diseases, these things that are making us feel bad. That's what Moringa does. And so that's why it's a really good thing to start your day. A lot of people do a multivitamin. You know what? And if you're going to do a multivitamin, see, if you really can't palate the taste of Moringa doing it in shots like this, totally fine. My dad actually really doesn't like the taste of it. But what he does is he capsulates his own capsules. So you can take capsules of Moringa if you don't want to capsulate them yourself. Just make sure you get the pure Moringa powder. And uh, you know, you might have to take eight capsules in a day or 16 capsules in a day. So just do four, four in the morning, four at lunch, you know, four in the mid and then four, or do eight in the morning and eight at night. You know, some at lunch if you need some energy. So that's the cool thing about Moringa is it's an adaptogen. If you need some sleep, it'll help you sleep. If you need energy, it'll give you energy. So it's a, it's a magnificent plant. And don't believe me just cause I'm saying it, Go do your research for yourself. But anyways, if you don't like the taste of Moringa in powdered form, you know, you could put it in a smoothie and you won't even taste it. A nice big scoopful in a full fruit smoothie. Oh my gosh, that's amazing too. So that's a, that's a great way to take it. But if you need something quick, something simple, something easy, these two little mason jars make it great. So I'm gonna show you right now what we got going on. And that's the tip of the iceberg for Moringa also. You know, there's, um, if, you could use it as a wound healer. So if you get a, a wound, so here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, that's a big spoon right there. And 
Let me show you this powder here. It's very, very powdered. So I like to take big, big scoopfuls, but if you're new to this, you might want to just take a teaspoon and put a teaspoon in this first to start. It will clean you out. It might detox you a little bit um, because what happens is our, our body store uh, toxins in our fat cells. So what Moringa does is Moringa goes in, it does detoxify our bodies, but it actually pulls these toxins out of our fat cells to get them out of our body. But once they're out of our fat cell, our fat cell is actually protecting that toxin. So it doesn't touch the rest of our working parts. So that's what the fat cells doing is they're encapsulating the toxin. And so what Moringa does is it'll pull it out of the fat, but it has to travel through the blood stream in order to get into the lymphatic system to flush it out, right? So this, and there's a definitely more sciencey stuff behind it, but this is just the easy way that I remember it. So Moringa will pull it out of your fat cell through the bloodstream and then flush it out of your body. But while it's going through the bloodstream, you're going to feel some effects sometimes, depending on how much you take. So if you start small, let your body get used to it. And then people are getting off dialysis with 10 tablespoons a day, okay? 10 tablespoons a day, that's a, that's a ridiculous amount of Moringa. I don't know how I could even eat that much. but. If you have dialysis and you need to get off of dialysis, why not try anything? If something will work, if something might work, try it. If it's natural, why not? And that's what I love about Moringa. So it's all the antioxidants, they've been curing people of cancer, diabetes, it regulates your blood sugar. People get off their diabetes medication. I'm not telling you guys anything right now to say get off of any of your medications. All I'm saying is look at the power of what's going on with Moringa. So these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration, okay? I'm just gonna throw that in there. But what I am saying is do your research and see for yourself, 39 anti-inflammatories. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story as I mix this because I'm not really getting to the process. So it, the reason I stopped there is because you need to know how much do you wanna take. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a lot. This big scoopful is how much I'm gonna take, which is probably many, much more than one tablespoon, probably two tablespoons. But I like doing this in the morning because what it does is it actually gives me not only a lot of energy, and I already did one of these this morning, guys. I'm doing this because I realized I should have filmed it for you. So see, I have all this energy now. Um, <laughs> could be from the Moringa, but I'm gonna do another one. And the other thing is you will be having very quick number twos. <laughs> It'll be, you'll be in and out, like just a little bit of honey. I mean, uh, the cool thing is you definitely feel really, really good the next day. You are cleaned out with Moringa. So now you just give it a nice big shake. <laughs> so just shake it up nice and good. And it's gonna be dark, dark green. And then just make sure you have your chasers right next to you because maybe you'll need them, maybe you won't. But I did put honey in here, so I don't know that I will, but I'll probably pound a mango after this anyway. So. That's it, nice foam on top. Oh, that tastes delicious actually. See, it's a little bit, feels like you have a little bit of dirt in your mouth, but it's just because the particles aren't small enough fully um, absorb with the water yet. Ah. Yeah, so, so it, I'm sure you could really acquire this taste and get used to it, but uh, do I have a Moringa stash? <laughs> that always happens. Chasing it with a mango is definitely a good idea. Okay, that's it. Simple way to take a Moringa shot. A lot of other options that you guys can try. So mix it up. Comment below and let me know what kind of Moringa shot you guys did. And uh, all right, so now I'm gonna play my harp for you guys.
it kind of feels a little biblical. My mom said she named me after King David because she uh, thought I would be a leader, which was super cool when I heard that. I was like, wow, no way. But David played the harp. It was just a different kind of harp. <laughs> so whenever I play the harp, I kind of think of that. Uh, let's see, let's see. This is the key of D. Let's go with C. You know, I kind of like E, actually. It's a very, it's a very nice and classy sound. Let's go E, a little higher. All right. So I'm going to play for you guys Amazing Grace. That's my go-to soul song. grace guys how sweet the sound this saved a wretch like me anyways garden therapy God gave us plants which sometimes are just as good as shrinks <laughs> and they give you fruit <laughs> All right, guys, I love you all. If you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up. Share this video with the world so people can experience my harp playing. <laughs> and uh, so people can drink their own Moringa and feel better today. 30 day Moringa challenge. Drink Moringa every day or eat Moringa every day. Little bit of Moringa every single day. See how you feel after 30 days. Ready, go. <laughs>